provide the computers and the other technology equipment um, in here um, to host workshops, seminars. Um, this is the space that pretty much get about, you know, probably 75, you know, how we space it out, but we will have equipped with at least 25 computers. Um, so we have that with the screen and everything, so. I want to start out by saying that, you know, my um, college internship was with Nike Incorporated and I knew um, having the opportunity to um, gain a graduate internship with Nike was very important um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, not a lot of African Americans had the opportunity, you know, for this internship. Um, number two, I knew that I had to set a standard for those coming behind me um, from a HBCU, Florida A&M University, and others um, to have the same opportunity. So with that, um, I was able to gain a lot of experience um, through sports marketing and through my sales background at Nike Incorporated for 10 years. So I've been able to travel. I lived in Phoenix, Pittsburgh, Oregon, LA, all of those, all of those moves I was promoted um, because I was basically a sponge. I wanted to know the business inside and out. I wanted to learn how to manage a staff properly. I wanted to learn how to, from from budgeting and from finance and all of those things that, that were gonna help me along, along the way. Being at Nike also really set the tone for my next journey and my next phase with transitioning to the WNBA. The WNBA is more, it's like a small business. Um, the opportunity that I had in, with the Atlanta Dream, uh, being over all of the sales units, director of, of ticket sales, and then transitioning on to the vice president of basketball operation. Um, I was basically, I learned every part of the business. I had a working knowledge of every department from marketing, community relations, PR, media relations. All of those things really, really helped shape what I didn't know at the time what I'm experiencing now. So from the Atlanta dream and then on to being senior vice president with the Los Angeles Sparks for a couple of years and then now as interim president and chief operating officer, um, I've learned a lot. Been able to connect with a lot of businesses and a lot of organizations, um, really supporting their vision, um, providing opportunities for families, for companies, for organizations to come out and have an amazing time um, at our games at Staples Center, um, managing a staff of 25 people in various departments um, as we work together to achieve one common goal. So from a business acumen standpoint, from the community relations standpoint, from understanding um, what it takes to run an organization, I was able to learn all of those things. I have all of those assets and I'm very, very proud of the work that I put in and I'm truly, truly looking for opportunity for a company to see the Attention Foundation Center as somewhere that they want to invest, as someone that want to come in and support not only my vision, but the vision that I have um, for the community of Fort Valley.